Welcome to Westmoreland Community Connections, a look at issues and happenings on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Here now is your host, Chad Ammond, President and CEO of the Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce. Hello and welcome to Westmoreland Community Connections. I'm your host, uh, President and CEO of the Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce, Chad Ammon. I am delighted to have on the show today uh, Scott Lee, who is the Vice President of Marketing and Development for Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week, and A.J. Rock, he is a junior at Greater Latrobe School District, and Mike McVeigh, who is a junior at Hempfield Area School District. Uh, thanks very much for being on the show, uh, we are going to talk about uh, Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week. If uh, if you don't know about it, uh, you're going to uh, you're going to learn about it. And if you do know about it, you're going to be excited uh, that we are talking about it. Thanks very much for being on the show, Scott. It's good to be here, Chad. Thank you. Well, I, I think that we need to kick it off by telling the listeners what is. Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week. Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week basically is a week-long immersion in the world of business for high school juniors and seniors. It takes place on the campuses of Lycoming College and Pennsylvania College of Technology in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. It was started by a group of business people in 1978 uh, who met up in Erie, Pennsylvania, who realized that they were having uh, trouble finding and retaining quality employees. The bottom line was these young people just didn't understand anything about business. They didn't understand anything about the world that they were about to enter. And because it's not required uh, as part of the curriculum in Pennsylvania schools, uh, you can graduate high school with a zero business or economics training. And quite honestly, uh, a lot of these young people are ill-prepared to enter the workforce. So they decided to bring together people from the business community, people from education, and bring them all together and create a scenario where these young people would run their own businesses, a simulated business for a week, and immerse themselves making the same decisions that business people make every week or every day of their lives and uh, understand about production, understand about manufacturing, understand about marketing and advertising, understanding about uh, other concepts such as business ethics and things. So this is the purpose of Pennsylvania Free Enterprise to teach students to not only understand, but appreciate and celebrate the American private enterprise system. So when and and where, I mean, you said uh, it's, it, it, it happens at Lycoming College and Penn College in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. But the students from all over the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania have the opportunity to go. When does the program take place? The program takes place over five different week-long sessions between uh, in the months of July and early August. And we bring in students from all over the Commonwealth. Uh, there's 67 counties in, in Pennsylvania. And I believe this year we had representation from 63 of those counties. So uh, we market to all over 1,000 high schools, uh, cyber, charter, homeschool, parochial, private. Uh, it, we market to pretty much every single high school student uh, in the Commonwealth, and we encourage them, obviously. And they, these are current sophomores and juniors, so they would be rising juniors and seniors. Uh, we encourage them to apply for the program. Um, we try to get uh, as diverse a background as possible in our student body because that represents the workforce. Uh, simply put, uh, we bring in people from inner city, we bring in suburban, we bring in rural students, and we throw them all together and they form teams and they must learn about each other's strengths and weaknesses and function as a team throughout the week to make their companies grow and thrive. And, and I think that we talked earlier uh, off offline, uh, but you, you had uh, about 100 students from Westmoreland County uh, participate. Uh, we have 17 school districts in Westmoreland County, and uh, approximately how many students uh, participated in PFEW uh, in 2018? Okay, this year from Westmoreland County, we had 104 students participate. We had 170 applicants and 104 graduates. Uh, leading the way was Greater Latrobe, or Latrobe, I guess as you uh, say it <laughs> down here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me, Dairy Area. 
Franklin Regional, Greensburg Central Catholic, Hempfield, Ligonier Valley, Manesson, Mount Pleasant, Southmoreland, and Yawk. So pretty decent representation among the high schools in Westmoreland County. We're very grateful for that. But 170 applicants is fantastic. And, and again, over 100 and, uh, 104 students took the PFEW journey. So I think that's a good segue to uh, bring in A.J. Rock. He is a junior at Greater Latrobe uh, Senior High School. Uh, A.J., how did you hear about PFEW and what caused you to apply? Yeah, at first I never knew what PFEW was and they came to our school and gave a great presentation and just showed all the benefits you can really get from it. And at first I looked at it and I was like, man, this is uh, is something I want to do. And a lot of kids around me were like, oh no, it's just some summer camp. Who wants to go to to camp and waste their summer? And I was like, this this looks like something I'd love to do. And I really looked into it and saw the benefits I can get out of it. From, I never really took business classes or anything in school, and and I was um, this was showing me that I can use this a lot in life. And yeah, I was just really liking this camp and just getting with it. So, what was your favorite part of PFEW? Um, I'm a people person, so going around there was all these new faces. I really didn't know anyone there. I just went there by myself without any friends and walking around. I saw all these people, and actually on the first night, I got my one friend who was there, and I just found him one day. I didn't even know he was going. And I said, hey, let's just go around and just introduce ourselves. We just went up to a bunch of people said, hey, I'm AJ Rock from Lake Trove. How you doing? Just met all these people, and I really liked uh, just meeting everyone there. They're all over Pennsylvania. It's great to see everyone there. Nice, nice. Well, uh, I, I think that uh, you set the bar pretty high. Mike McVeigh, who is a junior at Hemfield Area School District, uh, how did you hear about PFEW, and what caused you to apply, and what was what were you expecting to gain by attending? Um, uh, when Amber came down, she uh, gave a kind of a presentation to our school, um, like AJ said, and I kind of thought I, I was like, ah, oh, she's she's really trying to hype it up, and I I thought it was um kind of a a joke at first and then my buddy said my buddy connor he said hey mike this might be something cool and then a group of us were like all right whatever so um it was pretty much my friend he he and uh influenced me to go do it well i'm gonna get i'm, I'm gonna shift that back to scott so um you know you you apply for the the program um scott how much does it cost to for participants to apply to the to the pfew program and how much do they spend um you know that that's an important thing because you know with uh with with the parents that have uh students in high school and you know that's that's an important thing so for a week-long stay uh at at this camp uh, a scho- it's all paid for by the business and industry community in Pennsylvania. They put forth a $625 scholarship for these students to attend. So basically, their scholarship is paid for, and it covers it covers most of their costs of attending PFEW. There is a, a $295 uh, registration fee that each student is responsible for. Uh, there are certain in- instances in which uh, I believe Westmoreland County is on a reduced fee. I am not entirely sure what the 2019 fee will be. I believe it was $150 last year. So basically, Chad, for $150 out of the student's pocket, they get to spend a week on a college campus that covers their room, their board, certainly all program activities and and, uh, program materials at PFEW. But their main scholarship is paid for uh, by a member of the business and industry community. And I'm talking corporations, large and small, uh, chambers such as yourself, civic organizations, rotaries, those kinds of things, uh, foundations, individuals who all believe that, you know, the key to Pennsylvania's future is, is basically educating our young people about business and about free enterprise. So again, uh, the cost to Westmoreland County students, I believe, is in the neighborhood of 150 to $200, but the bulk of their scholarship is paid for by the private sector in Pennsylvania. So there's investment from the business community and not-for-profit organizations, and our, our chamber is a, a big supporter of PFEW, um, but b- bottom line is if for 100 or 150 or 200 dollars, students from all across Pennsylvania uh, have the opportunity to go to Lycoming College or Penn College for a week and learn about business. And what I understand is there are, if you participate in the program, there are scholarship opportunities uh, as from the colleges, 
That's correct. correct. Lycoming offers, if you go to Pen- Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week, regardless of which campus you attend, Lycoming College offers you a $20,000 scholarship off of their tuition in addition to any other aid you qualify for. That's $5,000 a year. Pennsylvania College of Technology offers an $8,000 scholarship, so that's $2,000 a year. Uh, if you're just a Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week grad, because they realize the quality and the caliber of the students that come to their campuses, and uh, certainly they would love to uh, have them attend. And, uh, for a four-year or two-year program. You're listening to Westmoreland Community Connections. Uh, we are talking with the uh, the Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week program. Uh, Scott Lee is the Vice President of Marketing and Development, and A.J. Rock uh, is a junior at Greater Latrobe uh, Senior High School, and Mike McVeigh is a junior at Hempfield Area School District, and they went to the, uh, the program uh, in 2018. Mike, I want to know when you arrived at Lycoming College, what were your feelings? Um, were you nervous? Were you uh, were you excited? What what were your feelings? And whenever you got there, and what were your feelings when you left? All right, so um, it was a long car ride. It was about three hours for me, and so I was real tired. It was real. It was like eight o'clock in the morning. Okay, and everyone was just. I was I was kind of I was excited. Everyone was real um uppity and real real happy. And I was like, why are, why are these people so positive? Why are they like this? It's eight in the morning. And then um you know throughout throughout the week it was just that positive energy and that really um that definitely brought a great element to the whole entire week. And then as when I left, definitely all my friends and I can agree on that it was probably one of the best weeks of our summer. So yeah, it was just just the energy of it. Uh, it, it made you feel, it made you want to be there, you know? Yeah. Well, AJ, uh, from your perspective, whenever you got to Lycoming, what was, w- were you, you had a, you had a lot of stomach acid or you, you said that you mixed and mingled with, uh, with kids all o- across the Commonwealth, but what was your expectation? And when you left, what were your uh, viewpoints? Yeah, when we first got there, we were just like kind of milling around like cattle going through all these things, setting everything up. And I was like, oh gosh, I was like, I don't know any of these kids. What am I going to do? But I just kept a positive attitude and I went into my room and I saw the one kid there. I was like, oh, hey, how you doing? He just kind of looked at me. I was like, oh, oh man, it's going <laughs> to be one of these weeks. But then I met some more kids and I was like, nah, it's, this is going to be different. And really everyone's just rubbing off. They, they all had a great attitude, great positive attitude. There's so many great kids there so different all from different backgrounds it's just great meeting everyone and seeing all the different views and everything from all across pennsylvania yeah right well i i've i've had the opportunity um i'm honored to uh be invited to be a uh, judge for the shareholders meeting and the marketing uh meetings but whenever whenever i i i probably went 10 years ago the first time and I went to the the banquet, and the kids were they, they were so sad that they had to leave. What was your what was your perspective on that? Uh, I had a great group. I mean, everyone was just friends. We didn't have anyone that just kind of sat there and did nothing. At first, some kids were quiet, but after some talking, we were all good friends, and we were all sitting there at the table joking around and everything. And then we had a few criers, but I'm pretty strong, so yeah, I wasn't crying. That's not bad. <laughs> but we were, we were sitting there, and uh, it, at least it wasn't uh, identified on social media, right? Yeah, right. No, no, yeah, that's right. right. But, <laughs> but we were just sitting there, and uh, it was kind of sad because I was like, man, I'm might not ever see you guys again, but we still keep in touch pretty often through social media and such. Well, we're not leaving uh, Westmoreland Community Connections, but we do need to take a break. Uh, we are going to be back with Scott Lee, Vice President of Marketing and Development, AJ Rock, and Mike McVeigh for students uh, at the, the uh, students that participate in, in Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week. We will be right back after these messages. This is Westmoreland Community Connections on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. If you have a suggestion for a topic or if your nonprofit organization would like to be featured on this program, call us during regular business hours at 724-216-1200. 
Welcome back. You're listening to Westmoreland Community Connections on Hometown Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. I'm your host, Chad Ammon, President and CEO of the Westmoreland County Chamber of Commerce. Our guests today are people uh, who are uh, integrated with PFEW. Uh, Scott Lee is the Vice President of Marketing and Development, and AJ Rock and Mike McVeigh are students in Westmoreland County, uh, one from Greater Latrobe School District and one one from Hemfield Area School District, who have participated in PFEW in 2018. Uh, Scott, let's kick it off uh, by who teaches this program and what topics are covered? Great question. First of all, uh, let's let's we have to deal with the structure of PFEW. So we bring students from all over the state, and there's about 450 participants each of the five uh, week-long sessions. And we break them up into groups of about 18 students and one adult advisor. And that advisor is an adult from the business community who basically guides them and mentors them through the week. The true role of the advisor is never to answer a direct question. We want these students to figure out uh, the answers on their own. But, you know, these students form teams of 17, 18, 19 students, and they actually run their own manufacturing company, and they compete directly against other manufacturing companies in their industry. And an industry could be the outerwear industry, the fitness equipment industry, the footwear industry. They're given an industry, and there's three companies within each industry. So you are competing directly with two other firms Uh, And you are mentored along the way by, uh, obviously, a member of the uh, business community. Now, all throughout the week, they run this business. They run their companies for about uh, a simulated period of three years. So they make 12 quarterly decisions, which are put into a computer simulation and evaluated against their competitors. Uh, we throw some uh, market curves at them, just like recessions and you know bull and bear markets and things. And they have to make uh, all the decisions that uh, business people make every single day. Uh, the beauty of this whole thing, and that's the bricks and mortar of PFEW, but the beauty of this is we bring in world-class uh, motivational speakers who speak on all sorts of different topics. The relationship of business and government, leadership, communication. All these skills that young people need and they don't often hear in their own schools. And these people come to PFEW for free. Many times they can garner up to five or $6,000 per an appearance. They come to PFEW for free because they understand the quality of these students. And many of these uh, folks come from uh, out of state, Alabama, South Carolina, uh, because they all believe in these young people and what they need to hear. So it's it's basically a, it's an immersion in the world of business, but it's so much more on, on the back end because you have these speakers that just impart this this life knowledge uh, to these young people and, uh, you know, hopefully light them up uh, for their futures. Well, uh, that's that's a great summary, but I- I'm, I'm going to ask Mike McVeigh, uh, who is the junior at Hemfield Area School District, and, and he went through the program in 2018. Mike, what what item did did your team uh, manufacture, and what was one of the speakers that made a difference for you? Um, we were in the footwear industry, so we made we made shoes. Um, and one speaker that really impacted me was uh, uh, David Flood. He he was more he was I don't even know if he touched on business at all, but he was more um, about just living life and being uh, kind to others. And um, one of uh, one of the rules that he gave us was um, if someone's sitting alone at lunch, go sit with them. Um, just kind of just spreading the love and the, the positivity to other people. Wow, that's impactful. Um, one of the things that in AJ, I'm going to I'm going to ask you this question. You guys, you know, we have two students that attended PFEW. You guys are very uh, much cooler than me. This this is not. It, 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 it is it is is not a a nerd gathering, right? Oh, not uh, at all. But it, it, you, it, so you have uh, students from all walks of life that are participating in, in PFEW. What what was one of the things that impacted you? Um, not only from the speakers, but interacting with uh, students from across Pennsylvania. Yeah, we, when we first got there, we were all sitting in our room together, and everyone was just kind of talking over each other. We didn't really know what to do, but then we just realized, we're like, oh, we're all here. 
we're going to be all together for a week, so we got to get along and just make good friends. And the speakers were all great there. We had a great company advisor, John Jensen. He was a, he's a great guy. He really told us a lot about life and what he's gone through and helped us out because, you know, people say, hey, you might not listen to me now. You might not think I'm telling the truth just like what your parents say, but uh, they know what they're talking about, so you better listen to them. Mm. And all the speakers were great. There's a lot of great inspirational speakers there. I've heard a couple of them, like Sweethearts and Heroes, came to our school before, and I just love seeing them every time. It's even though it's the same story, I love hearing it every single time. It doesn't get old for me. Nice, nice. Well, uh, Scott, <laughs> you will get uh, you will get four applications uh, over the next uh, uh, ten years. My my kids don't have a choice. They have <laughs> they have to go to PFEW. But uh, where can interested parents, students, teachers, or business people get more information about uh, Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week? Great question. Uh, I would have them visit our website, www.pfew.org. And there's all sorts of information, not only on the website. Uh, first of all, there's a, you know educator tabs, there's volunteer tabs, there's student tabs. Uh, one of the things that uh, we'd love to see, obviously, is not only in addition to scholarship support, uh, we'd love to invite some uh, uh, volunteers to come and, and see what this whole thing is all about. Each year, we need 120 of those company advisors. We call these folks the heart and soul of PFEW because that's where the rubber meets the road. That's where this marriage between students and the future business world meet. And these mentors that just give a week of their lives, they come on their own dime. We don't pay them. They are all volunteers. Uh, we would love to have a whole fresh crop of volunteers come so they can get on the website and find out more information. Again, www.pfew.org or they can call me personally. Uh, I was in the private sector for 29 years. I actually owned a family printing company and I've only been on staff for two years but I was one of those company advisors for 23 years uh, it has changed my life and I guarantee for those listening out there uh, PFEW is great for your students there's no question about that it will also change your life from a volunteer standpoint wow and I'm glad your kids are coming they yeah, have to right, right. <laughs> they, they don't have a choice uh, if you want to get on to the uh, website it's www.pfew.org that's p few.org or you can call the office at 814-833-9576. Um, Scott, I, I want to ask you the, the other question. Um, you know, the chamber is working on workforce development and and making sure that the kids are getting the right career path. Why is this program important for today's youth? Well, again, when we, we travel all across the state, not only student recruiting, recruiting volunteers, certainly uh, seeking scholarship support. But the bottom line is we hear the same things a lot of times, Chad, and that's that employers are having a very difficult uh, uh, challenge finding and retaining good quality employees. So if we're not doing our job uh, and educating our students about what they're going to face in the future, they can go to a four-year school and, and still come out not knowing anything about business. And the last time that I checked, if you're either signing a paycheck or you're accepting a paycheck, that's a business, regardless of what field you're going to go into. So people say, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to, I don't want, want anything to do about business. I'm going to be a doctor or I'm going to be a lawyer. Or I'm going to be whatever it may be, no matter what career path you choose, you are going to be part of a business. And if you don't understand what's at stake and oh, by the way, what your role is, in helping your companies grow. And also there's this other whole side of the coin. Um, we're hemorrhaging our intellectual property in Pennsylvania. We need these young people to understand that there are phenomenal opportunities right here in Westmoreland County. In every county in Pennsylvania, there are tremendous opportunities. But if they don't understand that they can actually leave high school and start this right away, then we're not doing our jobs. These young, we try to light fires in these young people and get them excited about their futures, get them excited about business, Guess what? When they go through this program, they're much more prepared to be the future employers and employees of, of our Commonwealth, and that's why we exist. Well, AJ, uh, it, it, light, it lit your fire, right? And so what would you say to a student who might be on the fence? I mean, and, and they're saying, well, maybe I'm going to go to PFEW, and maybe I'm not. What would you say to them to encourage them to go to PFEW? 
Yeah, well, at first I was on the fence about it, and I didn't really have much convincing from my friends because they didn't want to go. But I really looked into it myself and looked on the website and at the brochures they gave us, and it really shows it's it's going to be a great opportunity. It's really going to translate over into your life for anything, for um, the skills they teach you there to even maybe if you just want it as a resume thing, it still looks great on everything. And it's a great camp to attend because you, you'll get a lot of insight from all the people there and learn a lot of things. If you could sum it up in a, in a few sentences, what what did PFEW mean to you overall? It was a great experience. I loved all the people there and loved all um, the skills that they gave us. And it was really just helpful for my life going forward for everything that I'm going to have to go through in life. Well, uh, that's that's a that's a good thing, um, Mike. Uh, what what did you what would you say to a business person listening to this program? Is PFEW worth their investment? Oh yeah, um, it's not. It's kind of a business camp, but that's kind of just a front because it really teaches you how to connect with people, how to network, how to manage your time, how to manage your stress, um, how to divide and conquer. Um, really. So it's honestly, you get, you get more than just business, um, knowledge from it. It's just, it was a great experience just to be out in in an uncomfortable element and then somehow find comfort in it. So how would you, how would you describe the impact that PFEW had on you personally? Um, it was definitely the most education I've gotten in a week. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you, if you're any of your teachers are listening to this uh, broadcast, that it's 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 over the summer, right? Exactly. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. 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 Uh, Scott. Uh, uh, we, we want to uh, we, we we have uh, we're at the end of the program um, and is there anything else that you would want to um, recommend to students parents or business owners or it, maybe maybe people that are uh, somewhat v- uh, retired that maybe want to uh, volunteer into the uh, the program great question so I would say this to the students. It is, and if you listen to Mike and AJ, these guys actually took a risk. They were on the fence. They weren't sure about it. Uh, They had heard maybe it was nerd camp, and they didn't really know anything about business. And, you know, there's a million sports camps out there, and there's a million things you can do with your summer jobs, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever it may be. To leave for a week and take a risk on an academic experience is a, is a big leap for these students. I will say to you this, and I think you, hopefully you've heard it in, in the words of uh, AJ and Mike, it is so worth that risk. It will give you skills and tools and things that will stay with you for life. So I encourage you to take the risk, students. Parents, I encourage you to push your students to take this risk. Uh, first of all, you'll be away from them for a week, so it'll be a vacation for you. <laughs> <laughs> and secondly, uh, they're going to come back a different human being, and I think you're going to like what you see. To the business people out there that are unsure about what this whole thing is, I get it. Uh, I I did not get involved until my general manager came back from being a company advisor, and she was a changed human being. I knew nothing about PFEW, and I came down as a advertising and marketing judge, just like you, Chad. And I looked around those rooms, and I saw the creative product and the and the power of this experience. And I said, I have to be a part of it. And it, it like I said, it has changed my life. So for business people out there that are considering it, I would say, you know, kick the tire a little bit. If you want to come down and, and uh, see the program, we invite you to come down and just take a look around. But, uh, you know, it's a, a $625 investment is so much more than that. It's actually investing in a student for a lifetime. So if you're ever thinking about it, or if you're ever thinking about, to your point, Chad, about being retired, if you ever want to give back and give back in a tremendously meaningful way, Give PFEW a try. Thank you very much, fellas. Uh, A.J. Rock, Jr. at Greater Latrobe School District. Mike McVeigh, uh, Jr. at Hemfield Area School District. Scott Lee, Vice President of Marketing and uh, Development at PFEW. If you want to uh, encourage your students uh, or your child to go to PFEW, jump on to PFEW.org or 814 814- 
833-9576. It is a program uh, that teaches business over the uh, four weeks over the summer at Lycoming and Penn College in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Um, Thanks very much for being on the show. Uh, I I appreciate that very much. Uh, You have been listening to Westmoreland Community Connections on Hometown Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB. Join us next week, same time, same place, for another edition of Westmoreland Community Connections. Thanks for listening, everyone. This has been Westmoreland Community Connections, a look at issues and happenings in and around Westmoreland County. Join us again next week on Classic Hits 107.1 WHJB.